I can't thank you enough for joining me to endure terror creatures from the grave tonight. Contrary to today's more visceral horror, I'm all for leaving the monster off screen and well hidden until the climax. Like the old dark house films of the 40s, the science fiction frighteners of the 50s, 1979's Alien, and even the recent giant monster movie Cloverfield. This sort of editing can build an all-important sense of mystery, paranoia, and tension in the viewer. But in a film called Terror Creatures from the Grave, one understandably expects to see some terror creatures from the grave, yes? Oh, we get the graves all right, but the closest thing we ever get to a look at the terror creatures comes on two occasions when we are shown their hands. Ooh, scary. Otherwise, it's just a lot of point of view creature cam and sound effects. A rather ill-considered way to handle the climax of any horror film, if you ask me. You have until next week to wash out any nasty aftertaste left by terror creatures from the grave, and I'll be back to rudely expose you to whatever I can claw out of the desecrated soil surrounding the back lot of Hollywood on the Schlocky Horror Picture Show. Toodles! <laughs>